Hi, and welcome to Missed It by How Much. This is the channel that tests sports hypotheses by using computer game engine. We're currently playing the 1990 season, and we're the manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers trying to win the National League West with a different shortstop than Alfredo Griffin. And I missed it by a lot. A no-hitter has happened, and I was asleep at the switch, so I apologize. I wasn't really asleep. Uh, I had started the game, and how I usually watch other games than the Dodgers, I will try to keep an eye on a game until I see a hit from both teams, and then I will instantly zoom it to the end of the game. And move to the next game. In this case, however, I was caught up, wait for it, washing dishes. I had stepped away from the computer and started doing a menial task of cleaning dishes. And whether there were more dishes than I thought or I took too long, I don't know. However, when I came back, I noticed that Kevin Brown had pitched a no hitter, he'd given up a run. But he did throw the no-hitter. So I apologize for not being able to show you a near-miss or no-hitter video. But I wanted it documented on the channel that we do have another no-hitter in the American League. You see, there's his stats. He did give up an earned run. He walked one and only had four Ks, but he won his seventh game of the year. Batting wise, there you see the zeros. Harold Reynolds was the only one who walked. We'll get to him in a second. Two hits for Julio Franco, one for Palmero, three for Doherty, an RBI. Four for four from Harold Beans, future Hall of Famer. And easily had enough scoring. Uh, home run from Bouchel. There you see the great plays. And obviously MVP would be Kevin Brown. Uh, we can look at the recap here. Pitched an outstanding complete game. And there's a question there about the complete game part of it. Um, before we get to that, uh, Kim Brown did have a no-hitter. I believe he pitched it as a Florida Marlin against the San Francisco Giants. That's the one that comes to my mind off the top of my head. Uh, here's Seattle scoring in the seventh. Harold Reynolds walked. The only walk that Brown gave up. Then he got balked a second. And two ground outs by Edgar Martinez and King Griffey Jr. Got the run across. And just a document that the computer game does recognize this as a no-hitter. We're going to scroll down to the play-by-play. -play. Mike Lacoste had a no-hitter. He gave up a run. But will not show up on the pitching board. Here's the bottom of the ninth for Seattle. Brumley hits a ground ball to the mound. One out. Uh, Bradley. Brumley hits a ground ball back to the mound. One out. Bradley grounds out to Franco. That's two outs. And then I'm sorry. We had a Technical issue there. We'll try again. Brumley grounds to the pitcher. Bradley grounds out to Franco. Or Julio Franco. And then the final out. Is Harold Reynolds. It's it to Palmero. He takes it himself. No hitter for Kevin Brown. 
So that's official. That is the third no hitter by my count. And we'll go to pitching in just a second. I know that Michael Tosses will not show up for whatever reason. Uh, you can't blame it on giving up a run because Brown did give up a run and it was earned. So the only thing I could think of is that the computer game does not like combined no hitters because Michael Koss had help in the ninth from Atlee Hammaker to get his no hitter. Texas has won two games in a row against Seattle now, who fall who's fallen a little farther back, Texas way back in the American League West. Do both leagues. And we'll do pitching. As soon as it repopulates. This was a 1990 season in which there were really nine no hitters, seven recognized currently. Um, two of them were, one was an eight inning because um, the pitcher was on the road. I believe that was the Yankees pitcher. And I believe Melito Perez had a range shortened no hitter that those two are not recognized. Andy Hawkins, excuse me, for the Yankees had one. I think it was eight innings. And Melito Perez had a range shortened no hitter. I don't know if that's five or six innings. Um, however, Major League Baseball doesn't count those two anymore, but they're still with seven. Uh, Randy Johnson, um, Terry Mulholland, Dave Stewart, uh, Fernando Valenzuela, uh, Nolan Ryan. Those are the ones that come to mind off the top of my head. None of those pitchers thus far have had one, but we'll keep watching to see what else occurs. When this page populates, it should show Frank Tanana, who had a perfect game for Detroit, and now Kevin Brown for the Rangers on the no-hitter list, which is should be down here when the page populates. Uh, Mike Lacoste should be included as well, but he won't be shown. And there you see him. So it's immortalized in this game's history. Um, I, again, apologize that I wasn't watching closely enough to stop the game and bring it to you. But I'll try to do my best in the future. Until next time, thanks for watching. Missed it by how much.